Welcome back to Tony's Board Life. Today, uh, we are going to be playing uh, Mosby's Raiders. It is game two on my 2023 games to play. I've had this game for a while. I've always been interested in it, wanted to play it, and finally have sat down to play it and realized I should have played it a lot earlier because it's really, really a fun game and not uh, not as hard as it, as it looks. Lots of choices, but procedural at the same time, but lots of choices. Now, let's go ahead and get started uh, with it. Just so you know, usually the replacement track's here, uh, but to keep me from like knocking stuff over, uh, it comes with the nice tray here. So I just kept, so we have turn two, three, four, five, six, and then seven and eight in there if we get there. Um, and then everything else I'm gonna use, we're gonna go there. Now, what's interesting is this actually has a standee that you can put on and have it stand, but when it's on the board, it doesn't look good. So we're just going to keep it flat so you guys can see uh, what I'm talking about and where I'm talking at. But also, just so you know, there's some really nice uh, fan-made stuff. So all these charts that are on here have been put on the uh, player aid sheets. So I'll be using those instead of having to look in here because this is, I mean, I'd have to get my head underneath here and really look at it. It's really small. Also, really good sequence of play on the back of the manual. Uh, the manual I will be referring to because of the event cards and the action cards. It tells you exactly what to do when you pull each card uh, and, and what you need to do with that. So, so we're looking good. We're going to get started. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to place the units in the counter cup that's these guys right here they're already placed in here uh if i was at awareness two or excuse me oh gotta get my dream i was playing earlier to earlier if my notoriety track was at two i would pull all the twos that were in the re uh re reinforcements and throw them in there and depending at this point in time where you're at on the notoriety track track you'll pull the cards out now the notoriety, this is how you win. <laughs> if you are, so there is only eight turns in the game, and you have to get to nine notoriety by the eighth turn. Now, just because you hit nine does not mean you win. You have to go through all eight turns to win. And I'll tell you, playing this a few times, there are a few times where the turns didn't even match or didn't last long. One of the random event cards made the turn end way too early on that one. It just is the way it is. Now, to continue on in the game, your game track has to at least equal your notoriety check. That gives you two turns to get up to two. And the goal is try to stay one step ahead. Now, I've noticed that you don't really want to get way far ahead in one turn because you add harder units. When you have to add the, the reinforcements, they get harder and stronger. And that makes it a lot more difficult in this case. Now, how do you get up on the notoriety check? Every 10 performance points you get, so every time you have to reset, you get a notoriety check. How do you get performance points? Well, you have different actions, such as kidnapping, demolition, combat, and things along those lines. The demolition is probably is the one where you do a lot more. Uh, you, If you eliminate certain units, you'll get performance points. But the more performance, the certain things you do raises your awareness, which makes it easier for them to find you. <laughs> and for and most likely for you be to, to be less successful. Now, the nice thing is each turn, the awareness goes back down to one, and you start the awareness all over again. But that's the only thing that goes down. Your notoriety goes up, stays up, and that causes you, depending on what your notoriety is and what some of the random events and some of the action cards are, that makes a difference. Now, let's get back to it. Determine your uh, union awareness. And again, notoriety, awareness track, 
that's where you would start. So it does reset, but then it goes back up. So if it's at five, but your notoriety is at three, the union awareness will drop down to three the next turn. We are currently at union awareness one right now. Uh, place Mosby in a confederacy. Now, it may be hard to see, but there are gray circles basically in this area right here. He's going to go into one of those. I have an idea of what I want to do first. Basically, I'm going to put him in um, Rector Town right here. So this is Rector Town right here. My goal is to hit over here and see if I can demolish these rails um, in the first turn to get up to enough. And then you can also end the turn at any time you want to, especially if things are getting really, really heated at that point. Um, place Mosby Convention. Move units outside Union Lines. There are none, but basically the Union Line is this blue line right here. That's the Union Lines. Those are those are inside the Union Lines. You have outside the Union Lines, which is anything there. Now, don't have any, and don't, we don't have any units on the map right now, so that's not a problem. Units will stay on a map from turn to turn. They do not get pulled off. We need to recruit our strength. And what we do is we have a table over here. Uh, basically, as long as you don't roll a one, you're okay. If you roll a one, this turn ends and you go on to turn two. I rolled a two. My strength is going to be a one right now. So we've got a one here. And that one is going to be placed in the Raider strengths. Two. Glad I didn't get a zero. Because if you get a zero, you can't do it. <laughs> you can't do anything. But my strength is one right now. It's still early in the war. And things are, we're, we're building them up. Now, pick action cards. Now, what I do for action cards, I look down here. Turn one, or my notoriety is one. Uh, Modesby's health right here is three. So he's healthy. So I get three action cards. Now, these I will get to play. So I have a Pathfinder, which is a hold card. That's nice. Um, strength Deception. When determining odds for combat, increase Mosby's Raiders by one. So if I play this one, this becomes a two temporarily for that battle. And my third action is I get told I get one plus one on all my combat dies. So these hold cards are really, really nice because um, they, they last you for a while. Okay. Now, the random event cards. Now, these can screw you over pretty good to start off the game with. Now, we got to roll a die, and that's how many we get. In this case, I get two. Two is actually pretty good. You don't want a lot of these. Most of these are bad. Some of them are good, but most of them are bad. And what you do is you pull them off, you don't show them, and you do them in order. So our first one is actually kind of nice. It leads, it lets me have put Colonel... Delaney marker in the Alexandria space. Um, and there's another one on the opposite that gets removed. But he let this lets me kidnap him. And that's one of the things I can get. Now, kidnapping is definitely a high point, a high point um, possibility. You want that. So he goes in Alexandria. And he's up here. And now I'd have to get mosby all the way up here or mosby all the way up here to actually get him so well, that's that that's the first one and then the second one now if this is colonel delaney gets pulled that's a different story but it's not so it's a union sweep now this is not good i roll the die and i randomly pull a unit in and then it has to move then we do some movements okay here we go four this is uh, Mountsville. Now, Mountsville is right here. And so we grab we grab our Union trips. Now, for Union Sweep, I'm just going to check it real quick here. Union Sweep. Roll a die and locate the number. and Pick one Union combat from the container and place it on the active site up in the corresponding space for Mosby's Confederacy. Return any non-combat units to the container. Keep drawn until you get one. Yes. Also place a devastation marker in the space. During the preparation swing uh, sequence, which is that's what we're in right now, Mosby cannot 
be placed in a space containing a devastation. If the space contains Mosby, counter, resolve combat immediately, applying a minus two modifier if the union is prized, because of union's prize. If Mosby is not in a space, the union combat moves three spaces randomly. So there's a random movement table here. And random movement, union movement table. So I roll a dice and figure out exactly where they go. Um, if the union enters a space with Mosby, Resolve combat, applying a minus two modifier due to surprise. After uh, the moving union units three spaces, remove it and return it to container. I got to pull one. The nice thing is uh, he's four away from Moundsville, so he's not going to get hit. But where's the devastation going to go, and is that going to be a problem? Okay, so we're first one we've got. Okay, this is a one strength, so it's not too bad, but the only thing is... See, there's a one right here. That's a one. The S means that's the starting one. He's going to go here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five, he's going to go here. By the way, i got to place the devastation marker in Mountsville. And I'll have to place the devastation marker in Union. He's got to go again. He could go back to so one, two, three, four. It's a five or six, I roll again. That's a five. It's a one. And a one. He goes back here and roll again. Five. He goes back here. So actually, that was a pretty good. That wasn't too bad. Now, these devastation markers stay on here. And that part is over with. Now, I get to do my operations, and since there's no active units on here right now, I actually do get to, um, uh, I actually get to just kind of move around and do some stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to probe into Warren Junction here. Now, probing lets me kind of see what is there. And basically, you roll against a union awareness. If it's successful, you pick up a unit, you pick a unit, you see what it is. If it's nothing, you put it away. If it's something, you put it, flip it down, face down. Now, I need to roll this. I just don't need to roll a one. I got a three. That's okay. That's a successful probe. A probe doesn't get me any uh, points. It's just one of those things that helps me out to know where things are. Okay. Now what's nice is this is an S. <laughs> it gets, um, oh no, it's a picket. So it stays there, but it's flipped down. But the nice thing is, is I know that when it comes to picket, I'm, it's going to be eliminated. I'm going to continue on. There's no activated units. I'm going to continue on going here. This guy, this picket will go up here because pickets don't do anything. Just want to make sure. No, courier, you get points. Now, since I'm in here, I move. There's no activated units. I am going to demolish. And demolish just happens, okay? It's not a, it just happens. You take a demolish shit here. Demolish rail lines gives me three. One, two, three. So my performance is up to three. But my union awareness goes up to two. Now, I do have to check for activation for um, these two lines right here. I'm going to roll, and I have to roll higher than a two. I need to roll a three, four, or five, or six, and they don't activate. I rolled a one. <laughs> That would be for um, Rappahannock Station. So he uh, is going to activate, or I'm going to check that real quick, and then we'll see about Cutler's Station. I got a five. That one's been revealed. Oh, by the way, this I forgot to put a revealed marker on this one as well. 
And now we're gonna, I'm gonna check something. So hold on a moment. All right. What I do is this one activates. So I do see what it is and it's a three. Okay. Now this comes into the second part <laughs> of the game. We have the round sequence. So we need to determine initiative by rolling on the initiative table. We have union awareness is at two. And so on a one or two, the union has initiative. If not, Mosby has it, which I have the initiative marker right here. Uh, just not a one or a two. We get a six. I get initiative here. Since this is a three, I am going to move. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Um, and I think I'm going to go one two, three, move him back in. That way he's one, two, three. Uh, so we'll see what that happens. Now, the union now activates. All right. Uh, with that, um, we have a, they basically only move. So I have to roll on the movement table, which is right here. I have a copy of it right here. Uh, we have combat movement. And there is a, a certain which goes first, but we only have combat units, so that's going to go. If I remember right, non-combat unions go first. He is going to go and see what happens. So he's going to move. So we roll the die. Come on, one. Nope, five. Five. The unit moves three spaces towards Mosby by the shortest route. If there are several paths the unit can take, roll the die to determine which space it will enter. The unit has already uh, is already in Moby space. It stays there to have combat. That was why I moved him away. Now he can either go here or here. One of these two. So one of three, four to six, and we have a three. He's gonna move here. That can't go. He can't go back in this case. And so he's gonna go here and there. That's where he's gonna end up right there. Now, it's my turn again. <laughs> I keep hoping for a one, by the way, because that three, I really don't. Yeah, interesting. My pistol text give me a plus one, and the strength deception gives me a plus one. So this would be three, so it'd be at one to one. This could be interesting. Uh, two I really want, because as soon as I move into here he gets uh he gets he will go into combat um yeah i think what we're gonna do so we're gonna move into here and now combat ensues now i am the attacker in this case i'm going to play my strength deception strength which is when determining the odds for the combat increase the strength of uh mosby's raiders by one and I get to keep this one. I only get five cards, five total. That's the most I can get, have. But this one's worth it. This is a plus one. That'll give me plus two to my three. Okay, inspect the union units. We're good to go there. If Mosey Rays are defenders, they are not. Determine the combo, combat odds, the combat ratio, and modifiers. Divide the strength of the attackers uh, by the strength of the defenders, rounding down in favor of the defenders. Consult the odds modifiers. With this right here, this bumps me up to a three. This is a three. Um, so no modifiers. It's a zero. Okay. Use the Mosby chart when Mosby Raiders are the attackers, which I am. And the, so the Mosby chart, which is it's still a zero uh, for that. Consult the union reaction table below. Uh, my notoriety plus awareness. Awareness is two. Notoriety, so two to four. I get a plus two modifier to my roll. Play an action cards um, to modify the combat die roll. I don't. Oh, hold on. That's to die rolls. You know, in this case. We're going to be one to two. 
which is a minus one. Okay, this is to the die roll. Yeah, this is to the die roll. That's okay. We'll try it. One to two is a minus one, but we get a plus two. So we're at a plus one, and I get a plus one to my die roll. Okay. Yep, a plus one to my die roll because of this one right here, and then we're going to roll a die. So this plus one, I get a five plus one is a six. Now in the chart right here, I have as a six is an R1. Uh, so R is a union retreat. Mosby wins the battle. Okay, so I win the battle. So I get one uh, performance points. I get one plus union strength. That's a three, so I'll get four performance points. Two, three, four. That puts me at seven. <laughs> Seven performance points. So I also get one because uh, he lost a strength point. Because it's like, um, oh, wait a second. Union strength point loss. So, oh, I get three. So one, two, and three. Now that brings my notoriety up to two, which is interesting. And if I win the battle... My awareness goes up to three, the union. So I won that one. That's cool. This gets there. That was awesome. That was really, really cool. That's going to be this one right here. Place the retreat marker on the unit, which I do have the retreat markers. Retreat. And he is only actually a two strength now. Okay, that was my activation. So the retreat, what's really cool about the retreat marker is they're going to activate. They have to actually pull that off. That's their action for the turn. And then it's back to me. And I can go one, two, three. And then it's back to him. Now, I could disband any minute. He gets a six. Uh, that's not what I wanted to see. Because a six... Move four spaces by the most direct route towards Mosby. Well, we're gonna it's we're gonna reach here. <laughs> now, I have enough. I can technically skedaddle, and it'll be the end of turn one. And I think I will do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and what's called skedaddle. But I have to make a casualty check for Mosby. Now, casualty check, I roll as long as I don't roll a one. I don't. We're fine. Removes both Mosby counters from the map. And I do lose performance points, but I'm already at zero. So I really don't want to do that. <laughs> because that would take my notoriety. We're going to go ahead and we're going to battle and see what happens. I mean, it could work out for me. And basically, we're going to go think, but this time with the union chart, they are two to one, because I have one, it has two. Yep, two to one. So I get a plus one, or uh, two to one. It's a minus one, but my notoriety is two to four, so I get plus two. So it's still plus one. Plus one, and then a uh, plus two here. Yep, so I get a plus two on this roll. And it doesn't change. Plus two high. Six, eight, R3. <laughs> that was that worked out really well in my favor. Okay. Now, so I won another battle. So I get one plus US strength on the performance points. So that'll be three. One, two, three. Okay, perfect. So one plus a uh, performance strength. Uh I, let's put it this way. I am going to be ending this. These guys will go away because there's. it says to lose three. There's only two. These guys go away. Um, you know, we're going to do that, and then I'll put the, the point back there. Okay, and then we lost two, so three more. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm right at nine. That doesn't reset next turn, if I remember it. I'll, I'll double check before we do that. And let's see here. 
yeah, at that point, he's done. He's gone. Don't have to worry about that. We go back to Mosby's activations. And my activation is going to be, I think it's just end turn. Disband. There we go. Disband. To disband just during Mosby's activation, simply remove the counter from the map and the turn ends immediately. So we'll move him off. We'll put him in the Potomac River. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Now we got to do the end of turn. Then since it's the first one, we're going to go through it. Flip all units, flip all union units to their inactive sides. I don't have any. Oh, first, when the turn ends, check a Mosby's current notoriety. If his notoriety is greater than or equal to the current turn, your game continues. Well, my notoriety is two, current game is one. We're good to go. I got at least two more turns. <laughs> Uh, discard any action cards except for hold cards. I've got to, I'm going to keep my uh, pistol or my Pathfinder card and my pistol tactics. Maybe uh, the pistol tactics came in very use. The Pathfinder, I need to be a more constant um, observant of that one because I don't think it did that. Okay. Um, yeah, if you just completed turn eight, you win. If most of these currently notarized at nine, yep. Flip all Union units to their inactive side. Discard our, our action cards. Except for hold cards, remove Mosby counter. And the Raider strength point. So this gets pulled off right now. Because we'll redo it at the beginning of the tunnel. If Mosby was wounded this turn, he is not. Advance a drain, game turn to one space. To game turn track to two. So we're on turn two. And advance to the parade station. So... That is the end of turn one. I think uh, we're going to load it up here. It's 32 minutes roughly, and I'll, I'll cut out some of the, the dead air spots um, that we have. But all in all, pretty good. Uh, my notary track is where it should be. And beginning of my next turn, the union awareness will start at two um, instead of one because my notary, notar notoriety check is at two. Now, once you get above five, it starts at five, and that's where I think the Pathfinder is going to be very, very vital, because I get a plus one to all pro roll dies, and plus one to all union activation check die rolls when Mosby enters the space. So that will help with the union awareness, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. Also, next turn, I might make a short turn, <laughs> run someplace and do a little demolition to get the next notoriety and then end a turn. Now, it's that's kind of gamey, but hey, it works, and I'm actually okay with that <laughs> because it's only going to get harder, and I'm trying, but I may, we'll see where we're at. I may build this up to try to have it ready to go on turn three to get up to notoriety four, but we'll see what happens. But hope you guys are enjoying this, and uh, look forward to turn two. Talk to you later.